Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man and machine, creatures of the night, to more vampire, vampire, as the, as the wealthy folk and like to say. What the hell you want, Crane? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. What's going on? A crisis? What happened? Say. Who'd you kill? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... That sounds like a you problem. Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem. And we so we to use our cocaine. To overcome the shortages. <laughs> However, do you drug mean? shortage was a problem. If so we grab more drugs. Certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke. And space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Don't Take worry, Nurse Dorothy. It opens a small back entrance Dorothea. at the end of a narrow street. I'm used to going the through the back door. Behind the hospital. A small Especially door behind the narrow when street. it's locked. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Alright. We gotta go grab some antiseptics. Or people gonna start dying left and right. We can't be having none of that. Well, not yet anyways, you know what I mean? And the blood. All the blood is just left in me. Just get a little, just a little taste. A little, you know, a little suckage in there. Grab some of that blood. Delicious. All these doors are locked. Alright. So. Uh, I'm not sure if I went over it last part of Vampire right but there's a lot of there's a lot of talking to people in this game and I, I thought okay I thought they were having like an exchange or something there's a lot of talking to people in this game right very dialogue heavy very 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 dialogue heavy and at some points in this playthrough we're definitely gonna have to sit down and just walk around and talk to people right or maybe we can ignore it. Maybe we can ignore it, actually. Since I'm not really planning on getting my suck on, you know what I mean? Whatever, we'll come to it when we come to it. voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. That surely would be a party, my friend. Surely. That was just the one dude. I love how I just walked up to him. Like, look at look at that fucking G walk that I got going on right now. All right, you're dealt with. Now make sure you can grab shit whenever you can, because you're gonna need every little last tiny item that you can grab in this playthrough. In this game. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. It is locked. We need to unlock it. Down the streets we go. I'm still surprised how fucking good this game looks. Like, it's not the best, you know? But it's definitely not the worst. I really hope they make a sequel to this. I hope they make a sequel to this. And, um, and whatchamacallit, just kind of like improve upon it, maybe make it a little bit more, uh, hmm, maybe, hmm, I don't know, I don't know how to explain what the hell I want to say right now, <laughs> I want to say make it like a little bit more character driven, hmm, Maybe give you like more choices and shit. Kind of like I'm trying. I'm trying to explain it without saying the magical words "vampire the masquerade," <laughs> but you know, kind of like that where 
where you got a lot of a lot of branching paths if you want to do that this one doesn't really have much of that everything's kind of set in stone once you know where shit goes it goes right there's only like a few handful of choices that I think that really affects the game hello is anybody in here I'm just coming in for a little oh some shillings I'm coming in for a little schmackle of honey it's just what I'm here to do Did I I thought I just had like an icon to pick this shit up I'm looking at the icons on the uh on like the map not the map but you know what I mean the like the the thing the direction bar whatever the hell it is I'm looking at that stuff cuz I I don't know I thought there'd be something up here but I guess not it's locked it's locked it is locked we need to unlock it oh heard someone balls of mars fortifiers balls of mars as popular as they are ineffective but they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Just a heads up, I'm pretty sure in some situations in this game, Dr. Jonathan Reed here uses, like, bleach or something. <laughs> some form of bleach in, like, the medicine he gives people. Just heads up. Uh, bleach is not medicine. Don't, don't, don't do that, you know? Just don't. Just don't. Don't even. Don't even try. Behavior is similar to the infected. Come on. We, we don't gotta. We don't gotta have Must idiots around strain. here. You don't need to the be out here doing the fucking Pi Pod challenge like a fucking moron. Man, I'll never forget the day I heard that stupid shit. Like that's almost as crazy as when I heard that the choking game was a thing, and I was like, what? It's like, yeah, you fucking just take a belt and like. You lean forward and just choke the shit out of yourself. And if you live, you win. And it's like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> if you live, you win, dog. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze really bad. <laughs> Not sure if the mic caught that, but that was surely grumpy. That was very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Wasn't I fucking? Oh my god. Wasn't I like, wasn't my nose like stuffy the last time I recorded that? Who the fuck? Where? He started walking up to me like he's a, like he's a smooth criminal or something. Oh! Yeah, that's right, bitch. Do the stanky leg. And drop it like it's hot. <laughs> it's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Yeah, wasn't I like... Oh, my nose was like stuffy the last time I did this, I think. Last time I recorded this. What the hell is wrong with me in this playthrough? <laughs> my nose is kind of like congested again. I definitely just woke up though, so maybe that's why. I don't have allergies, at least not to my knowledge. I'll never find out I have allergies until that one day where I, where I need life-saving surgery. And then... and Oh, what the... F that was creepy. And then one day, when I need that life-saving surgery, and then they're gonna stick the needle in me when I'm unconscious, they're gonna be like, What's happening? He's having a reaction! And then I'll start mutating. And I'll turn. And then I'll start... I'll start the apocalypse. I'll be patient zero. It'll happen. I promise you. It's my life's dream. Okay. What do you got, sir? Some bullets? <laughs> I mean, they didn't seem to help you pretty much, but okay. Ooh, and shotgun shells. Hey there, buddy. There you go. That man got, that man got laid out. He's folded like a deck of cards. 
Why he fought like that? <laughs> Hello, is anybody in here? Hmm. Hey there, buddy. You just hanging out? The hell is this? Local investigations, the new citizen is available. What? Oh, and a new citizen is available. <laughs> a new citizen investigation is available. Press the hammer tab button to open the local investigations menu. Sure, I guess. Citizens investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start new citizen quests by tracking it with the square button. The access to your map to locate the area. Blah, 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 blah. All right, what's this? Hmm. The harder they fall, find out the cause of death. Office of Pembroke Hospital Medical Examiner Report Investigation Descent uh dis what fuck. Hmm. Descendant. Descendant? Descendant. That's the word, right? Why why can't I read? Samuel Connor. Raise uh wait wait. Wait, raise Caucasoid? <laughs> Caucasoid? Alright. Alright. Shouldn't it be Caucasian? Caucasoid. That is that is interesting. Home address unknown. He's a fisherman. Natural uh, type of death was natural. Probably cause uh, probable cause of death. Fast fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced of of pulmonary uh, of what the fuck? I don't even know. Whatever. The Spanish Spanish influenza. Okay. Doctor Tibbets. Nurse Gwyn. Name signature and medical examiner, Dr. Tibbets. Okay. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Yeah, like that's his cause of death. My guy has a big ass scar going down his chest. I'm gonna open it. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Mm hmm. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Who was a druggie? A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Sir Tippett's, you done fucked up, sir. It's locked. It is locked. A uh, listen knife. Okay. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Blood absorbs. Oh, press it to directly absorb blood. Alright. I mean, I'd rather use the stake to get some stun damage and, like, the gun to pow, 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 pow. You know what I mean? But, what the... Sometimes I don't know my own strength. I guess there's nothing else in here for me. Hello, is anybody in here? Hello. There's still a guy down here. What you doing, buddy? I asked what you were doing. I didn't ask you to come and talk to me, okay? You know what? I just that that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I asked you to answer me. I didn't ask you to talk to me. <laughs> like what? Sir, that doesn't make sense. I know, right? I'm crazy. Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? Hi, sir. Would you like Ow to hear about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh! The John Doe. 
to what the guy got. Ow, fuck. The guy just got up for the morgue and started walking it. Get over here. You really came to bite me. You crazy son of a bitch. Don't act like. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't have the gun equipped. See how that works. Maybe, maybe before I die. Oh fuck! I'm stuck. Parry. Oh, that's how the parry works. Oh, interesting. Whoa! These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. That's when this motherfucker threw a goddamn to table. Blood is so tempting. Drinking blood is so tempting. So instead, I eat gushers. <laughs> it they feed me, give me sustenance, fill my cravings. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Alright. It looks like something should be here on this desk, but it's not. So I guess we'll just, uh, oh. Boom. Is that everything? Oh, there's a crafting table. Just gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. Any like notes or something. Crafting, you have enough component. Oh, wait, well, whatever. There you go. There we go. Uh, Axaw. Recyclables. Alright, what am I. Trying to do? Just like make shit? Who's sick? Oh, I gotta find out because I gotta talk to people. Ah, oh, shit! Alright, we'll do that. Um, is there like no faster way out of here? Do I gotta. Okay, I gotta. I just gotta run my ass up there. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna do one of my favorite things. Teleport all over the goddamn place. I should heal myself too while I'm in it. I need to get some blood in me. Hello, good sir. You you mind coming here? Just just a little bit. Thank you. It's greatly appreciated. get as much as I can, you know. Daily source of iron. There we go. There we go. Just, thank you. Actually, while while I'm at it. Why? Why is this on here? What the hell? Put the gun there. What? Equip. Equip. Press on the equip button. Why, why isn't it working? Quit. Okay. Hold up. What? Really? Huh. I did not know that. Okay. Interesting. Switch the bludgeoning then. And then I'll, you know, have that going. Man, this is a lot of stun. Ow! Ow! Ah, 
That motherfucker almost grabbed me. Thought he had me for a moment. Honestly, did. I got a watch. It's my watch now. I'm really, really hungry. I can go. You know what I can go for right now? Nothing crazy, just like. Just like some grilled chicken and like a salad. <laughs> Sounds like the most boring meal ever, but I just really want. I just really want some right now. Like, put some banana. Put some, uh. Is it called, what is it, banana peppers? Yeah, banana peppers, right? The small, the small awesome ones with all that, all that good, all that good, like, tang in it that it got. Make that shit start popping. Yeah, banana peppers, I think that's what it is. Put some of that in your salad. Some olives. Oh my god. Put a little bit of, uh, put a little bit of, um, some orange slices in there. Not not orange slices, but like you know, like the little fruit cups that you get from uh that you usually will like buy for kids and stuff. Like little orange fruit cup shit. You just open that, drain out the juice, put that in the salad. I'm telling you, it sounds weird. I know, I know. It sounds weird. But just try it. That shit tastes great. Putting fruit in salad is it is Good as shit. Alright, dear love, I finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry, nothing about now, uh, nothing about now. Uh, don't worry about nothing now except getting better, for I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors and they told me that the, that Mr. Hooks, something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry, I refused to pay first, and I realize now that the important thing is that you get better. The Primbrook Hospital is a good place, I heard, despite the bad behavior of Milton Hooks. I promise you that everything's okay. I'll see you in uh, I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as possible. With fondest love, Nicola. Well, that motherfucker's dead, dog. <laughs> Hello, my good sir. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Okay. You're a pawnbroker, actually. Let me just... How good you looking? You healthy, buddy? Alright, cool. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Hmm. What kind of goods? What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers. For the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not afraid of the dead. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. 
all gone. Hmm. How did you get this job after I left the army? I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. There's that name again, Milton Hooks. An Captain Hook. Point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. All right. Have we met before? Did you work here alone? Do you alone? work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Hmm. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Okay. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Very, very relieved. All right. Uh, I guess that's Goodbye, it for Mr. you. Kadana. Thank you, Mr. Kadana. You got anything in here for me to steal? Nope. All right, cool. One of these, one of these episodes, we're gonna have to sit down and just have a whole episode chatting up people. And just, just as a heads up, that episode is probably gonna be super light on commentary. <laughs> super light on commentary, because uh, you know people just gonna be talking and talking and talking. <laughs> people besides me. Hello, good sir. Actually, let me let me just hand over these fucking items before I start walking around talking to people. Oh, I guess I'm heading to my uh my room and examining the stuff. Right? What am I doing? They want me to like make shit, but uh, what, what do they want me to make? Let's see, craft the treatment for fatigue. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Boom. Did it. I, I made it. Guess I hand this over to Dorothy. Oh, uh, Miss Dorothea Crane, where are you? Dr. Crane. My senses. Oh, okay. All right, I gotta run outside. When you see, um, people sparkle sparkle like that, that means some eavesdropping shit you can do. You just gotta find the right area to do it. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over there. Get over there, get over there, get over there. How do I... Oh, it's over there. Fuck. I'm not gonna make it in time. I'm not gonna make it in time. I'm not gonna make it in time. Nah, I can make it in time. Oh, fuck. I was right there. Uh, come on. Don't, don't stop. Hey, I did it. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? 
How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Hmm. Mortimer Godswick. Mortimer. All right. Miss Dorothea, where are you? I was looking for you until I saw that shit happening going down. Where are you? Where the fuck? Oh, there you are. Finally, you've returned, <coughs> Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. Which one? Mortimer? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. All right. Diseases. Diseases decrease the blood quantity of a citizen. Use, uh, use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check the medical status. I will not let you down, my boy. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Do Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. All right. Press the R1 to check medical status of a citizen. Healing a citizen will increase the blood quantity and will reward you with XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Alright. He has a little fatigue. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may. Just give you some of the good shit, you know? I don't mean to be a burden. Here you go. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Alright. How painful is the throat? How painful is Looks your very throat, painful. So painful I'd rather not talk at all. Don't well, you are gonna talk, okay. Hmm. We must communicate. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Hmm. Alright. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Well, you're gonna talk. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. All right. Hmm. Can you help me? No. You can trust me. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you? Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. Okay. Thank you for the key, Mortimer. All right, I guess that's everything. I have to go now, sir. For now. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. Oh, what a poor Mortimer. All right. Blood Temptation. Remember, citizens' bloods will pr uh, provide you with a massive EXP boost. 
Look for citizens of your mesmer mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. Or just don't do it at all. Be a good little vampire. Which room is Dr. Swansea? Is, it, is this one? Well, it says the fuck. It has the fucking name on the door. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Okay. Hmm. Words bring comfort. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Hmm. We need each other. Maybe? I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. I'm a chef, chef too.